Колега, доброго дня. Ми продовжуємо робочий день в Українському кризовому медіацентрі. Мене звати Валентин. Валентин Богачев, я Маненька, спокійно в Peace for Life Project, який підтримуваний в Германії ембасі. І сьогодні ми будемо говорити про рекреацію для українських сервісів і дітей в Кроїші. Large contribution from Croatia to Ukraine is the initiative of Ivica Pirici, Honorary Council, Council of Ukraine uh, uh, in the Republic of Croatia that help uh, uh, this uh, activity and that is uh, supported by Marina Parashenka and the servicemen and children are in Omish town, Croatia. So about recreation, what has been done and the plans for the future. We are going to discuss with issue with Ivica Chapiris, Honorary Council of Ukraine to the Republic of Croatia with via Skype Oksana Gavriluk will be joining us later from Croatia. She is the representative of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine and also here in the studio Vladimir Kashluk, head of the Social Guarantees Department of Armed Forces of Ukraine and also the Ashivlyak, President of the Sport Committee of Ukraine. Good afternoon, dear friends. Now, uh, uh, Mr. Peric is um, uh, on Skype with us. Good afternoon. Glad to see you. Glad to hear you. This is not the first initiative. Uh, when you help Ukrainian servicemen and children who stay in Croatia, tell us about this event, why it is important for you. And uh, what is the number of people who were in Croatia and had some rehabilitation in Croatia? Could you please tell us about it? Good afternoon. So I greet everyone who is in the studio. And today I am in Zagreb. Also, we have some humanitarian events. That's why. I'm not with the, the servicemen and the uh, children at the location of recreation. For the second year, we carry out this good thing, and uh, it will continue. We won't stop until today. I believe that 800 people, children and servicemen underwent rehabilitation and had some recreational activities in Croatia. This action will continue and uh, we will continue because we need to provide help to Ukraine and I'm ready to continue with this help. Also two questions to you. First, philosophic, why it is important for you personally. As I told you in the beginning, when I started humanitarian action, uh, so we had uh, military actions and uh, in our country 12 years ago, and I remember these events, and uh, I want the children just forget about uh, the horrors of war and also soldiers. These people, uh, uh, the rest of Ukraine uh, lives peaceful life, and uh, uh, we should help servicemen to have some rec uh, re uh, recreation, some um, rehabilitation. So could you please tell us more about this rehabilitation? You said that this is the fourth round of rehabilitation. So what are the months it is conducted in? And what is uh, the changes? So, so we have the same program. They play football with Croatia children and uh, servicemen play with uh, Croatian soldiers. They make friends. They have some excursions around the town. So everything that is needed to relax. And uh, they should, uh, in order them to forget all those terrible things that happened in their life. So we now stop connection uh, via Skype. Maybe you have some questions to Ivica. Uh, this is Sergei from Ukraine Crisis Media Center. Thank you very much. 
that you are today with us. Tell us, please, what is the attitude of our servicemen to your initiative? Uh, do they feel comfortable and uh, they play uh, football? W what was the match? Who won? Of course. Uh, servicemen came, and uh, when we look at them, uh, they uh, relaxed, they uh, like their experiences here, and I'm really glad for them. As to the match, they uh, played with the special forces uh, servicemen, and Ukrainian soldiers won. I was a judge uh, during this match, that's why maybe. No, no, they really was. Uh, they really played successfully. Uh, there was some injury to one serviceman because uh, of uh, this, but uh, I will provide medals to those who. Uh, uh, so. Um, uh, everyone who participated will be awarded. Thank you, uh, Ivica. And uh, you said about the plans. And uh, do you have some information about next year? When will be the next season of rehabilitation? So it will be in June or July, and uh, we will help to have people rehabilitation here and these will be children and servicemen because children are the future of Ukraine and uh, we should help them as I see in statistics these children they were confined in their uh, place of residence and it's important uh, uh, to go to Europe to have new experiences. They will share this information with their friends and they will tell that they want to live in Europe, not in Russia. And this is very important. This is the most important uh, to have a good future in Ukraine. So thank you very much for your activity. Thank you for this uh, Skype connection. We are supporting you. Thank you. Glory to Ukraine, glory to heroes. Goodbye. And now we will try to connect Oksana Gavriluk, who is a re representative of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. She is in Croatia together with children and uh, servicemen. And as I understand, this is it. <laughs> Good afternoon, Oksana. Do you hear us well? Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Good afternoon from Croatia. I hear you well. We see you. There is, there is a lot of sunlight. Tell us, please, more about the events you have here. So we have good experiences, and uh, this is a wonderful country, wonderful people. and. So there are servicemen from different units who stay here for her rehabilitation and children also here relaxing. So, 
this initiative of Ivica Peric, he addressed the Ministry of Defense with the initiative and told that uh, they can provide re recreation and rehabilitation to our servicemen and children in Croatia. So there are servicemen and those who were demobilized and those who were wounded during ATO. And this is not the first time when uh, the servicemen came to Croatia. And we are really grateful for this initiative of Ivica and for this opportunity to rehabilitate our servicemen. Moreover, we here are uh, 150 kids. These are kids of servicemen and also uh, those of, uh, of those servicemen who died and uh, uh, those children who were displaced. So also there is a coordinator and um, help of uh, uh, Pirica, Alexei, and maybe he will tell you more in more detail about the events that are going on here. And also I would like to give the floor um, the uh, please, uh, of course, we will be glad to hear. Good afternoon. Firstly, I would like to thank Ivica Peric and his project. Because uh, these are difficult times for our country and uh, they really supported us. And they did the right thing for the servicemen and children. So connection is not good. So we should establish better connection. We can't hear you well. Uh, secondo. So we see the picture, but you can continue to speak. Do you hear us? Yes, now we hear you. You can continue, please. Давайте спробуємо ще раз перенабрати, колеги. Можемо ще раз перенабрати. Ну, все ж таки. Алло, алло, як нас чути? Нормально чути нас? Нормально чути, а нас? Нам теж вас нормально чути. Чудово, тоді продовжуйте, будь ласка. Ну, а що стосується... Есту. So, if you ask them, they will honestly tell you their emotions are true. Here is a lot of sun, sea. Recreation is really great. These are children from different regions of Ukraine that enjoy this. And uh, we want to thank Ivica Piric for his wonderful project. And I would like to add, both children and adults are absolutely happy because of this warm attitude towards us. Because, of course, you know, the first thing I thought when I saw Ivica Piric that this wonderful person really cares about Ukraine. And uh, we wish him good health in order that he could, would continue. And the children, they are happy, they are together with us. You can see them and uh, they will thank you for this wonderful relaxation. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Did you hear this? Yes, we heard you really well. Wonderful. And I think that I would like to give the floor to our servicemen. 
So uh, there is a serviceman who now is here with us. I'm really grateful to organizers and to the participants. Что там говорит Skype? Пропал звездок. Ну давайте ще раз пробуем их набрати. Я розумію, що Skype connection failed. Далеко від ідеального, але все ж. Коли говорить, що офлайн, так чи як? Вони є офлайн. Окей, якщо з'являться, то ти кажи, добре, я думаю, що не будемо час відтягувати. У нас є в студії присутні наші колеги, це Володимир Кашлюк. Володимир Кашлюк і Ілья Шевляк, президент до спорткомітії України. Тому, можете ви сказати, будь ласка? Vladimir, about the selection of those servicemen, could you please tell us about this in more detail? Thank you. Uh, we should say that in starting from 2014, this is not the first project according to which we send our servicemen and the members of their family abroad for relaxation and rehabilitation. As to the project Ivica Pilchev to Croatia, we wanted to bring the servicemen who were wounded, serious injuries, and uh, through military commissariats and together with the participation of uh, the um, all Ukrainian organization of radio uh, participants, we carried out selection. Uh, half of uh, this group is active servicemen. They went from the front line. Uh, directly and another part is those who were demobilized those officers and soldiers who were not able to continue their service in the armed forces because of heavy wounds and in this group there are legendary people captain Vitaly Shevchenko who was heavily wounded and uh, um, due to the efforts of our doctors he survived and now he made his first steps and uh, uh, he lives peaceful life and uh, this is a relaxation for him and uh, also this is social and psychological rehabilitation for him all as well and this group of uh, servicemen it includes different servicemen starting from privates to uh, colonels so this experience on social communication will be really useful for their future in order that they have the broader uh, communication and uh, to uh, and I would like to thank from the general staff uh, to Ivica Piric and all the organizers and our colleagues in the uh, embassy of Croatia and our partners Croatian partners here in Ukraine for the organization of this wonderful visit. Thank you, Vladimir Ilya. Could you please tell us in what way did the Sport Committee of Ukraine join this event? It's difficult to add something after the speech of Ivica Piric. This is the key person who created not only the opportunities for our servicemen and children to um, relax and to undergo social and uh, psychological rehabilitation. Um, so these are the opportunities for them to know about Europe because the majority of these kids, maybe 95% of them, they didn't leave their oblasts. This is correct. I know the statistics. Uh, I was the um, deputy um, governor of the Nitsopolist, and I know that the children didn't have the opportunity to see the world. And uh, this is the uniqueness of this project. Children who saw all the terrible things during military actions, now um, they are at the co uh, sea coastline and uh, they undergo social and psychological rehabilitation. They uh, are involved in some sports activities and um, exercises, competition, 
they also have the opportunity through communication with the counterparts they can see another life and to feel different approach and uh, view of the world and uh, i thank if it's a rich who is a real friend of ukrainian people and uh, a real patriot and uh, for he carried out this humanitarian action starting last year and uh, Oksana Kasimo, she is the uh, coordinator also of, of starting 2015 and uh, more than 600 children under the rehabilitation and uh, uh, this was said by Ivica Piric and uh, you know that uh, he also saw the uh, terrible things during military con uh, conflict and uh, uh, he is the child of war who understands all the problems and the necessity of the adaptation and those difficult critical conditions. At the sports committee, for us, this is a wonderful opportunity this year. We sent uh, the last bus. These were the children, uh, the parents of uh, which are sportsmen who fought and defended the borders of Ukraine. And now these um, uh, their parents are in the ideal area. And this is a wonderful opportunity for these kids to uh, feel uh, another uh, ways of communication, another uh, world. So uh, also there were children from, uh, uh, there is a camp uh, in Kiev Oblast where the children from Ethiopia area undergo uh, rehabilitation and David Sapirich was in Kiev in May and we brought him to this camp and together with the most famous sportsman of Ukraine on non-Olympic sports. Ivan Nastenka was with us. Uh, he is uh, a jiu-jitsu uh, master. So we had some master classes for these kids who had the opportunity to speak with uh, these famous sportsmen and to see the specificity of these kinds of sports. And Ivica Piric um, also spoke with children, and there was a football match planned, uh, but that day it was raining. That's why Ivica promised when he was in Lisnaza Stava that the children will have the opportunity to play football in Croatia when they will stay there for recreation. And uh, he is a very responsible person. Um, he is true to his word, and he provided the opportunity to these kids to go to Croatia and to relax them in Omish town, a Croatian Republic. Thank you very much, Ilya. Thank you, Vladimir. Maybe we'll try to connect via Skype again. <coughs> Oksana, Miss Oksana, double three. Let's try to hear you once again. So, you have heard what I already told, and we can continue. I have a serviceman. Near, close to me. Good morning. I'd like to uh, say uh, a word of gratitude to the organization of this organizations of this pro organizers of this project, uh, which is very important uh, both for uh, the children and the state. And uh, uh, Croatian people saw our children, uh, they uh, learned something about our culture. They learned about the events in Ukraine. The better our servicemen uh, feel, uh, the better for our state. Uh, we appreciate your support. I'd like to extend my gratitude to everyone involved in this.
I want to say that uh, children appreciate uh, your kindness and they love you <coughs> they love you very very much they know how much you you are doing for the safety of the country also our servicemen and children played together played football and uh, uh, ukrainian servicemen shared the information with children these contacts were valuable The communication wasn't very good. Could you uh, say once again the name and the title of the serviceman, of course? Vetro uh, Patekin, Lieutenant Colonel. I'd like to say, would you like to say some words? I'd like to say some words. to Igor, because our communication with him is very important, of course. Please. I'd like to uh, give the floor to my colleague. Good morning. I'd like to, sh to join all my colleagues. And uh, to thank uh, them for a great positive effect for this opportunity that was given to our servicemen because uh, those servicemen who uh, suffered hard traumatic effect can feel the support and uh, they can enjoy maximal social adaptation and uh, social rehabilitation that's why it's it's very uh, and it's also very nice that children are present here and uh, Croatia treats us with an open heart with bombs I, I, I know the uh, activities of such level are really very useful and uh, I think thank, thank you uh, uh, dear organizers and I think this event won't be the last. Do you have any questions? I see that you have your questions. Israeli uh, f friends of Ukraine, Lilia Margolna. I'd like to learn about the age of the children who are resting there. And uh, do you have any subdivision by age groups or all the children are, are having time together there? And what happens to these children when they come to Ukraine because you said that there, there were many children who still who lived um, in the ATO territory where will they come and what will happen next to these children what kind of support do you mm, give them this uh, all the children live together I think that the atmosphere is very positive and normal and they all communicate. Children who uh, whose parents uh, were killed during the war or servicemen's children live together with other children. They communicate. They come from uh, different parts of uh, Ukraine. And this develops patriotic feelings to Ukraine. Uh, and uh, they organize concerts together, they take part in various activities. We will continue work with them when they come back to Ukraine. What about the age between... Uh, fr uh, uh, they, they are from 8 uh, to 15 years old. Do you have any other questions to Oksana? Yes, Oksana, I'd like to... Uh, ask you to pass my uh, congratulations to the servicemen with the uh, victory in the football match. Uh, do their Croatian colleagues plan to come to Ukraine to uh, play back to pay revenge <laughs> in this match? I think we will uh, uh, be very glad uh, to uh, receive them in Ukraine and uh, we will contribute to, to their coming to Ukraine. But 
It's important to have Evit Zapiric. Thank you, Oksana. Tomorrow we will. Uh, we are leaving to Ukraine. We are coming back together with the servicemen, with children. We are waiting for you already. Please visit us. Thanks again, Oksana and dear colleagues. And we have a question to colleagues present in the studio today. Do you remember the question? Uh, I'll give a very short answer. Children come back to their families. And if they are IDP children. They come back to their locations um, where their families are waiting for them. A part of these children come from Dnipropetrovsk Oblast. Some of them uh, are located in uh, Lviv Oblast, and we also have uh, children from Zhitomir Oblast and Kirovograd, Zaporizhia. Do you have any other questions or clarifications, dear colleagues? I have a question to uh, Volodymyr. Do you plan to extend this initiative because we have very many servicemen who need rehabilitation, maybe here and abroad? Do you have any plans to uh, even more actively engage initiative groups or foundations uh, who uh, are willing to take part in the recreation of our servicemen and children? Thank you for this question. Actually, we have been uh, dealing with this during two years, not only at the level of the Defense Ministry and uh, the general staff. Uh, we have very many projects uh, in the regions. NGOs address the regional um, commissary offices, and they uh, ask for assistance. For example, there is a need for the defense of uh, minister uh, for the minister of defense and for the general uh, staff when uh, there it's necessary to send the next group of our ATO participants to United Arab Emirates. Please believe me that we are waiting for a great number of such projects. We are generating a database of servicemen who benefited from these trips and who will need uh, this social and psychological rehabilitation. People who, uh, these people who came uh, to Croatia uh, spent uh, their time abroad for the first time. Thanks a lot. I think we will finish right now. Uh, we have had an extreme crisis breath briefing, but we, we are called Ukrainian Crisis Media Center, which means that we are able to cope with crisis situations. Thank you, dear friends. Um, see you later. Dear colleagues, uh, we'll have our next briefing dedicated to a spokesman of Peaceful Life on Tuesday at that time. At